I'm John White. I'm a physiatrist and an experimental psychologist, and I direct the Moss Rehabilitation Research Institute. Currently, if you think about how rehabilitation treatments are defined, they're mostly either in terms of an institution, someone had three weeks in an inpatient rehab facility, or they're by discipline, someone had 10 sessions of occupational therapy, or they're with reference to the problem being treated, someone had gait training or memory remediation. But none of those things really tell you what the therapist actually did with the patient. So we're trying to develop a system that will define rehabilitation treatments in terms of their known or hypothesized active ingredients. And that way, we should be able to test whether treatments defined that way are effective or ineffective. The thing that we do as rehabilitation professionals, the treatment that goes in between what happened to the patient and, and how they turn out, uh, we have real limitations in how we've been able to define that. And consequently, it's been very difficult to study whether particular rehabilitation treatments are effective. It's been difficult to aggregate a bunch of studies on the same treatment and really know whether they are the same treatment or not. And so it makes a lot of difficulty in both advancing our research knowledge and in teaching clinicians how to deliver treatments as they should be delivered if we don't know what the essential uh, ingredients are that need to be delivered. This work has been mostly um, reading, writing, arguing, critiquing, and doing it all over again. So we, we attempt to make rules that will guide this process and then we try defining certain rehabilitation treatments using those rules and we see the problems in the rules that we've put forward and then we revise the rules and uh, this process has been going on in an iterative fashion really for, for eight years. Um, we think that we are settling down and not having so many uh, big picture issues to sort through, but it's been an extraordinarily complex process. Physiatrists really have two kinds of roles typically. One is uh, as prescribing physicians, they may be ordering medications or uh, performing injections or doing surgical treatments. Those things actually are relatively easy to specify because we know what their active ingredients are. But uh, physiatrists are also ordering and coordinating the treatments provided by physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and so on. So at this point, they can only order gait training or memory remediation or occupational therapy. Uh, having a system with a common language that cuts across all disciplines will allow physicians and therapists to talk about the best way to deliver gait therapy for this patient versus that patient. What, what kind of feedback offered during gait will improve gait speed the most? Much more specific discussions and questions. The next steps overall in this work are, are toward implementation. We think that the near-term next steps are probably a set of smaller projects that will help gather evidence about the benefit of implementing the system.